All right, everybody, welcome to our Essential Island Living uh, Builders Weekly Team Call. Um, so grateful to have you guys all here tonight. Um, on tonight's call, we're just going to focus on a couple of things. Uh, the first thing is maximizing promotions. This month, doTERRA has an amazing 200 PV uh, promotion. So we're going to talk a little bit about how we can maximize those promotions and use them as a way to help educate our current existing customers and to um, encourage other people to um, take the doTERRA plunge with us. And then um, after that, I wanted to chat a little bit about our upcoming Mother's Day event. Um, it's really uh, going to be a team effort. And I wanted to get um, sort of people's ideas and then share kind of the ideas that I have. I've been talking to Kaliko and Tilly about what ideas they have and then um, also get your guys' opinions and get an idea of who um, on this call is going to be able to make that event. And I really want to kind of um, lay the groundwork for a really successful team bonding um, experience. So I'm really looking forward to that and looking forward to hearing some of your suggestions. So before we get started on those two topics, does anyone want to share a win or a challenge? Let's start with wins first. So if you want to share a win, raise your hand and I can unmute you or you can unmute yourself. No wins? Okay. No. <laughs> okay. Any challenges that people have? Any questions that you guys have? I know Nicole's doing her first event, and uh, we we're just talking before you logged on, Nicole, about um, possibly having a team call focused around events to help other people get prepared for them. You've been super awesome and proactive about asking questions and just kind of jumping in. Um, and in some ways, that's just the best way to go. But I think that um, as we continue to learn and grow and do more events or get the opportunities to collaborate with our other friends that have, you know, their own businesses, um, that would be a great topic. So anybody have any burning questions or challenges they want to talk about? Okay. Moving right along. If you do have anything that pops up, go ahead and you know just unmute yourselves. Okay, so maximizing promotion. So we're going to talk a little bit about this specific promotion, but I think that we want to keep in mind how we can always make the most of all of the amazing promotions doTERRA offers. And typically, there's always at least one. And even if there's not a big promotion like last month was the enrollment promotion, this month is a 200 PV promotion, you know, the free product of the month in itself is a guaranteed promotion every month. And we kind of have to think about how we can utilize that product to help support and educate people about whatever it is that they could possibly get for free. So this month, I think it's really easy to promote the 200 PV promo. Because OnGuard is like a staple of um, our essential oils and our product lines. Um, I thought it was kind of ironic that just a few days prior to the announcement, Kanani did her uh, white baseball pants post. If you guys didn't see that post, I was like, who uses white pants for baseball? Like, whose idea is that? Anyway, that's like the worst idea I've ever heard. <laughs> so, um, but... Um, you know, on guard is just an incredible product. And so, um, I'm going to have Kate and Kanani chime in and then you guys to share, um, if you have any ideas, but I think that, um, using this as a platform to educate. So if you guys have been, you know, following my Instagram story, um, or even in our group, um, I feel like I don't need to give as much education in our group because everybody there really uses the oils already. I like to repost the amazing graphics and, you know, helpful tips and tricks that doTERRA does. Um, but I'm just really using this uh, time to uh, educate a little bit more about On Guard and how I use it and um, the powers of it. So that's definitely one way to maximize the promo is reminding people that you share doTERRA and then, you know, connecting it with some sort of education um, for them so that they can go like, oh gosh, I need, 
I need some of that, you know. I mean, every mom on Kanani's baseball team now needs a bottle of On Guard hand soap because they have those white pants to clean. So um, personal tacks and touches all always make a huge difference, especially for people that aren't active on social media or aren't aren't on social media, just sending them a pic saying, Hey, let me know if you want to know how to get these products for free this month with a pre-made doTERRA graphic. doTERRA is really stepping up their game. They never used to make as many graphics as they do now. And, um, I always share, there's a whole like presidential diamond group of ladies doTERRA must give them the insights on what the promotions are every month because every month they put out a whole folder Filled. I don't know if you guys checked out that folder. There are promotion like graphics galore. There's a PowerPoint presentation to use. I mean, there is an email template you could send your people. It, it's really incredible. So, you know, in terms of a lot of the, the legwork for the promotions, that's a lot of that's been done for us. So, um, so definitely reaching out to people personally is a way to maximize the promo. The other thing that I love about 200 PV promos is the Home Essentials Enrollment Kit. The Home Essentials Enrollment Kit gives people this, um, this, this special. And so um, typically, you know, with the free products, you have to be on LRP, but this one is any order. And so that's also great to reach out to people that don't order on LRP, but always want a good deal. Um, getting them to order when there's a 200 PV promo can be super, super um, incentivizing for them because they get so much free stuff. So just a couple of ways that I was thinking about maximizing the promo. I'm going to work on um, a post with the home essentials kit and uh, you know, a little graphic that says buy, you know, enroll with this kit, get all of these for free. And I, the gra I didn't make the graphic. So I know that it's floating around out there. So that's another way that I like to maximize this particular 200 or any 200 PV promotion. So all right, so I'm going to stop talking and I'm going to ask Kate or Kanan to jump on and share any ideas that they have about maximizing promotions. All right, um, I'll start. So, I mean, you hit so many of them, Liza, of how to maximize it. Um, I do a lot of touch ins at the beginning of the month um, with people, especially people that are on LRP. Um, I'll go in my back office and I'll check when is their LRP processing. Um, usually I'll check for two reasons. I want to see if they updated their cart um, and if they did um, kind of seeing what their volume is. Um, and I usually always just send um, the current promo to people who haven't updated their cart. But sometimes if it's a really good promo, I'll just say, hey, did you know this is what's happening for the month? Um, it's really great. You'll get da da da, da if um, your volume's at whatever PB. And usually um, a lot of people are super responsive because either, like Liza said, they're not on social media, so they were not even aware of what the promo was. Um, and a lot of people jump on it because, I mean, who doesn't love free stuff? Yeah. Um, and then another thing that I do, I've tried to be consistent about, is doing emails about whatever the promos are. Um, so I can try to catch people with texts through emails because you never know which type of communication works better for them. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's super awesome. And I love that idea of like catching it early. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of times if people aren't active on Facebook or even email from doTERRA or whatever, they're not necessarily even aware of the promotion and so if you could text them early enough and you know catch them before they process their order then that's that's super awesome thanks kate yeah come on oh there we go i tried to unmute myself um i i like everything that liza and kate said is very true because you definitely don't want to wait mid-month and then go oh my gosh i have to do all this stuff so um um, one thing I like to do just to add, and, um, I am horrible at Facebook lives, but I always think about doing one 
<laughs> so if you have the courage, I feel like Facebook lives are like just short, sweet to the point, whether you be talking about the promo or even demonstrating what you, how you use it, what's the value of these freebies? Because we all love it and we're all excited that these four on or three on guard products and one wild orange is so amazing. But for the person out there that doesn't really know doTERRA, they're like, okay, this chick is kind of crazy. Like she's going off with her posts about on guard. So I feel like trying to show value is really important. Um, and I did that post, not even knowing that they were going to have this on guard promo, but it did set the tone and it did bring up a lot of questions and it, um, a lot of chatting. And that was good to have all that, um, com the comments and a lot of people chimed in and said, Oh, I've never used the soap, but I've used the concentrate. And so that's what's on sale this month. And so, um, I haven't done it yet, but I really wanted to do um, another post of how I use the oil. And I, and I even thought about having my, maybe my oldest demo because he's kind of under the weather right now, as I know Kate is too. But um, how we ingest on guard oil, because that's always seems to be a question too. Like, you guys take this internally? Like, what? You give it to your kids? What? So that's another idea if you maybe want a um, Facebook Live or a video or picture or something else kind of think out of the box wow thank you that is so so great i love so much of what you share because i'm the same way about the facebook lives and i feel like i go in waves and i used to try to be really like plan them and then now i've just kind of been like doing it when i feel you know feel inclined to but i think that they really do um encourage i mean people can watch them over and over after it's done too right so it's not like they have to tune in when you're live and you know you can incentivize that too like you know if you tune in and comment um something that you learned or something you a question you have about you know be entered to win you know and if you have like a free oil that you're not using or a five mil bottle of something you know or a breed stick i mean really it could be anything people love to win prizes and it kind of connects to what kanani was talking about about creating sort of that chatter and that dialogue and that interest right and just getting people to interact with your post and then with each other when people share oh this is what i do or this is what i've tried then other people are like oh my gosh i've never tried that before i've never done that before so um definitely um building the value in our products. Kanani mentioned something that I think that we are so guilty of, which is we know how awesome they are. So we were like, oh my God, you can get all this for free. Other people are like, and what? Like, what is that? Like, if they don't love it, like we love it. If they don't know it, like we know it, the value for them is not there. So it's our responsibility to build the value of what these products do, right? How they support us, how we can use them. Because that's the other thing too that I think Kanani touched on. It's like, okay, On Guard, super powerful immunity blend, super amazing at helping us stay healthy or to battle sickness faster, gets into, you know, you know combat threats at a cellular level. And but somebody's looking at their bottle, this is a touch roller, but... Like, so then now what do I do with this? Like, great, I bought it. I have it, right? How do I take it internally? How do I put it on my kids every day to support them? So definitely building that value is a responsibility of ours. And, um, you know, honestly, share in the group. If you guys use something and it works amazing, like, I feel like I hear all these credible stories when people ask a question, like, oh, what works for this? Like Nicole just asked about a detangler blend. And I didn't really know because I have like, there's no hope really when you have curly hair. So you just like, don't even, you know, try to use detangler blends. But um, I was like, oh, I don't know. But this is some things that I've heard. And then somebody posted like, oh, I made this amazing blend from the Share Oils recipe book. And it works so good. And I'm like thinking, why didn't you post? Like, I wish that we did that a little bit more just to help each other out because that's how we learn so much more. And so the more as a team, 
we can build value with our own products that we already love. It, it helps us all feel that confidence to build the, it with other people, other people that aren't on the, you know, the doTERRA train yet. So, all right. So it's been about 15 minutes. Does anybody have any of the ideas or questions about this month's promotion and about how to make the most of it, to maximize it and make the most of it? <laughs> Janice is saying, hi, Tilly. I think she's driving, but hi, Tills. <laughs> I don't know if she can hear us either, but she's on there. Um, anybody else have anything, anything uh, that you want to talk about for, for this promotion? Have any questions, suggestions, ideas? We'd love to hear from you. No? You guys are a quiet group tonight. It's kind of a nice change for my 27 chatty, uh, chatty <laughs> fifth graders. Nick says, where do we find the graphics that we mentioned? Kate, we'll go ahead and tag you in the folder, Nicole. Um, it's in our builders group. And then I think I just sent an, I sent an email with it too. It's basically one link to a Google folder. And within that Google folder, there are graphics, there are email templates. I mean, there's like more... I, I got sucked into it kind of on the night the promos were revealed because they post them and people stay up apparently. <laughs> like I don't know when in the mainland because, you know, it's late over here when it gets posted already. So, okay. If there's nothing else, thanks for asking the question. Are any other questions or ideas or get excited? I think that's the thing too. You know, every month it's nice to kind of feel get rejuvenated and excited again about something that doTERRA is offering. You know, the 50-50 promo was an amazing promotion. And now we get to get excited about how much free things people are going to get, whether they're our existing customers or our new customers. So I, I just wanted to say real quick, I'm going to have a class on Sunday and in, um, you guys are all welcome to invite your people. Um, I posted it on face or I did a Facebook event and then I shared it on my personal page. And I think Liza and Kate are also um, hosts. So they're able to share and invite as well. So feel free to bring whoever it's open. Our classes are always open. So yes. Yes. Invite. Thanks, Kanan. Super important reminder that any classes that we have are open to everyone. Now, the only ones we want to be careful about are if I say team event, because typically team events are just for our current existing members as a way for us to support each other and build capacity on the team. Okay. But um, all essential oil 101 classes. And if you, if you're not sure, just ask, but yeah, that's why we have them so that we can all support each other. And this way we can all, um, divide and conquer young yeah? and offer more opportunities for everyone throughout the month to share. Okay. So question. I, yeah. No. Um, about the, um, posting as far as like, what do you guys think about the frequency of posting? I mean, like I haven't posted anything yet purposely cause I was waiting for the, the call. Cause I usually feel inspired afterwards to go post something. Yeah. But anyways, I just like, I sometimes feel like I'm over posting doTERRA and not like enough of my personal life or like I I've been with Kanani too I've been like oh I've been practicing like these imaginary live videos that I never ever do <laughs> but um yeah I just like don't have the courage to and I or I just feel like I'm overdoing it so what do you think about like the frequency of posting and promoting the so I'll give you my my opinion and then you can talk to other people um I it's different for me because I finally I think about two years ago at convention when okay I need to have or actually it was actually after a leadership convention where I decided that I wanted to separate my personal Instagram page from my business one I wanted the freedom to post as much as I wanted about doTERRA without sort of feeling that guilt of like are people going to unfriend me because I'm like do doTERRA vomiting all over them um, on my personal page. So my, and then I created my own Facebook page as well so that my Instagram posts from uh, feed onto that Facebook page for my business. 
Um, I think, though, when I was starting off, I think I, there's some sort of ratio, and I want to say it's like 80-20. Is it 80-20, Kate? Yeah. So it's 80% personal, 20% business-related, okay? Now, what I think you can get away with, though, is that I think that if your personal post is something that still has to do with you using the oil. So it's not just a promotion. It's not just contact me about this special. It's not, but it's like, here I am using my peppermint oil while I'm working out or my deep blue oil after I'm, you know, I'm not like a stage one, but, but I don't know. That That's kind of, so 80, 20, I think um, is a good ratio. If you're still using like your personal pages. And I feel like, that's where Kate and Kanan are about, you know, um, their, their, their social media is not primarily for doTERRA. It's primarily to connect with their friends and family, but they share doTERRA. So, you know, they're definitely posting about it too. Yeah. I was going to say that, um, I thought about having a separate page and I don't know if I'll be there soon because it's been on my mind for a while, but I like that um, I can post my kids and then I can post my kids using doTERRA or I can post, um, you know, deep blue after MM practice because I almost died today, you know, stuff like that. Like, I don't know. I feel like um, it still keeps it real and it keeps people like, oh, she literally does use this every single day, you know, I don't know. So that's kind of my take on it. I know that there's going to be a point where um, I'll probably have to do my own page though. Okay. It's kind of getting to that point where you probably should separate. So I don't know when that, when that happens. I think it's different for everybody. How, however you feel. My personal opinion too, about running your own social media sites, just for your business is that unless you're going to be super consistent with it, it's not really worth your time to be perfectly honest. If you're not going to like super consistent about your, you know, your separate page, you're better off just using your personal page. And I would say trying to find a ratio as much as possible, you know, about 80, 20. Now, sometimes it's going to be more heavy, like the first of the month when the promos come out and they're amazing, it's going to be a little bit heavier, you know? Um, we're going to talk next week about doTERRA's hosting a green clean challenge, the last like the 21st to the 28th or something of the month. And they have pre ready to go graphics that you can use. So, you know, you're probably, if you decide to use that as a platform to share, you might be posting about something every day, but then you can like even the, um, post the pre-made graphic with your actual bottle of on guard spray that you need in your house, you know, then it kind of balances off a little bit, I feel like. So does that help, Marissa? Yes, thank yeah. you. Yeah. And and I look forward to seeing your Facebook lives when you get brave enough to do oh, them. <laughs> We're all in the same boat. We're all in the same boat. No worries. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump to our Mother's Day event. I'm really excited about this. It's going to be Saturday, May 12th. Um, we're going to start at 4.30, and we're kind of thinking that we'll just run till people got to go. Um, we'll hopefully get to catch an epic sunset together. Um, we are going to do uh, – I've asked Tilly and Calico are super excited. And FYI, they're having a really cool uh, separate mama event this Sunday. And so if you want to attend that, they're doing uh, scrubs in the valley. And um, you can contact them uh, for more information about that. I think it's a morning event. But they're going to do a scrub on the beach that day. Is that right, Tilly? Okay, good. So they're going to handle that part. Um, and then um, I'm going to do a free make and take for every team member. So every team member that comes and RSVPs because I'm not going to be at home to bust out more supplies. So if people want to make their free make and take, they have to RSVP um, to the event. Um, and I'm just going to have like every person can make one roller, one blend of something. And I'm just going to bring like maybe three different blends to choose from just to limit the amount of oils and supplies and stuff that I'm bringing. Um, and what else? I think it was just 
this idea of like connecting, you know, connecting and bonding and um, we'll, we'll provide like, like poo-poos and wine. If anybody wants to bring anything, feel free. But rather than making it strictly a team event, um, I was talking to Tilly and um, I think to even Kate and Kanan about this, that it would be really great to use this as a platform to introduce new people to our community. So I was thinking that every person could bring one new person, one person that's not yet part of the team to participate in the event as a way to see like, wow, this is what, you know, this tribe and this family is all about. And um, there won't be any like formal class. I'm sure we'll be talking a lot of oils. I'm hoping that whatever food people bring that will be, you know, a little oil infused and, you know, um, add some lemon to some cocktail or something. <laughs> but, um, but yeah, so that was, that was basically the gist. Tilly, did you want to add anything? Did I miss anything that we had talked about? She disappeared. Kate, Kanan, what about you guys? Any ideas about that that I didn't catch? No? Do you guys think, do you like that idea of being able, like we're kind of thinking it's like, oh, you know, bring, like I get to bring one person to this like special event. Anybody want to come with me? Do you guys like that idea? Yeah, definitely. Okay. Um, it's sugar scrubs, right? Is that what we're doing? Sorry. Sorry. Just to cl clarify. I don't know. She just dropped off. I don't know. I asked her in Coleco because this was kind of their idea. And then I think we could get a ne the next level to um, plan a, a separate event. But I don't know. I don't know. Okay. I don't know if they're making the scrubs with them or just providing the scrubs and doing it. I or just doing the, um, the doTERRA spa scrub that's available. Oh yeah, that would be a good idea. Okay, I was we just had wondering talked about that, didn't we? About using, like, putting out our our skincare products and stuff. I think we Have did. Be able, yeah, people be able to try those mm -hmm. as well. Okay, so um, all right. Well, let me check with her. That would probably make more sense if we did use DoTerra's products. Okay. Who thinks, just that's on this call, who thinks they'll be able to make that event? You too, Kate, Kanan, you guys are in? Yeah. Okay. All right. All right. Well, even if you can't, what's that? May 6th. What, it's May 6th or May? It's May 12th, the day before Mother's oh, Day. Okay. No, Marlene, okay, you can't make it. Okay. Not fully sure yet. Well, what's that, water. Marissa? I said I'm not totally sure yet. I will find out. But be sure to send the invite personally to all of your team and encourage them that even if they can't come, even if you're not there, like this is their team and this is an event for them and they get to come get, you know, get a body scrub and get to, you know, um, I mean, not like a full on body, body scrub, but you know what I mean? <laughs> like, and get to make a free roller and blend. So please, even if you can't come, just, you know, um, encourage the people, uh, your people to make it for sure. You know, um, Janice, I know your sister is starting to share. So, you know, if she can make it, if she's on island, she can bring somebody, you know, Kate mentioned that she had people at work that are interested. So definitely use that as a, as a platform okay all right um anything else about the mother's day event any ideas that you guys have that we could add i want to keep it simple only because we're not at somebody's house so it makes it difficult like whenever i do events at home if i run out of something i could just run upstairs you know, or if somebody needs a certain handout or something, I can run upstairs. So if you think about anything or you know some of your team members are coming and they have suggestions or ideas, please feel free to pass it on. But I think with the, the scrub and I'll have one table for the make and take, a simple, three simple recipes in rollers. Um, 
And as long as people RSVP, including your guests, they will be able to make it. But that RSVP is really important for supply count for me, okay? So normally I'm not very strict when we do stuff at the house because I pretty much have everything here. But for this one, I'm going to be a little bit more hardcore. Quick question, Liz. Yeah. Um, if our newbies or there's a group of new people that are interested um, or, you know, after the scrub or whatever, and yeah. should we um, have uh, material available? Yeah. Like well, yeah. I was just writing that. We should be prepared to teach a class. Okay. Because if that happens, we, we want to go with it. So even just having a class in a box there might be good. Or even just the class handouts, the natural solutions handouts. I have a bunch of that stuff. I can bring that. I have. Yeah. Totally. That's a good idea. And I'll... I'll make sure that I at least have like the top 10 oils with us and the things that are being given away this month, the 200 PV promo. Okay. Any other questions or suggestions about the Mother's Day event or anything else? No? Okay. All right. Listen, first of all, let's take our picture. I feel like every time I take the picture, Tilly's not on. Okay. Bye, y'all. <laughs> um thank you guys so much for showing up i it just it really means the world to us that you guys take the time every wednesday to show up and to you know um to learn more about how you can support your business nicole i know that kate was talking about using her back office to um see whose orders are going to process and that kind of stuff and uh we definitely put the back office as another um you know, we have a lot of new people that are sharing. So sort of the back office navigation is on our, um, our builders call um, topic list for sure. Set up a zoom with Kate just like this, though, she can pull up her back office or even your back office, which would be better for you. And she can show you how to navigate like the look for is where you're at. I know you're working towards your 50. So what you should be looking at how you can see um, all the things that the back office tells you because it's really pretty amazing, but I know it's a lot to take in once you start wanting to use it. So set up that time with her, but know that that's a topic that we have on our agenda coming up either this month or early next month. Um, anything else? Any other topics, suggestions, ideas, anything you guys want to share at all? All right. Well, it's 9.03. I love that we just continue to connect every Wednesday on these calls, but that we keep them nice and, you know, short and sweet too. Thank you guys for showing up. Thank you for being part of our oily tribe. The three of us are always, always here to support you. So just reach out. Um, we, we want to help you uh, reach your goals in this business. So thanks so much, everybody. Have a great night. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Bye.